think in 2023 we only had about 34 victims of rape in the entire country. I'm, this data by itself um, is, might not be alarming to you all, but for us it's significant. Um, and when we have this scenario, uh, our officers, med mostly medical officers who are in the emergency area, are supported by specialists in the field. So many of our officers may not um, have this experience in, in dealing with these scenarios, so this might be a first time event for them. And so it's a sensitization in, in where we need to go. Unfortunately, we have these instances in the force and this training by no means, uh, by all means, ensure that we provide our soldiers with the proper um, treatment, the proper investigation that is, that is needed, and ensure that the management is top tier and meets an international standard. By all means, we must ensure that proper evidence taking, the proper forensics um, conditions are within our perimeters and with the resources that we have available there at the Belize Defense Force. I was trained in Cuba, so being from a different um, area, we go on, undergo a, a medical legal course, but it's not as intense, so it doesn't really qualify you or train you properly in the field of where you're working to actually properly um, handle different cases like this. So by with this training from a, a professional, someone that has the experience, uh, giving their you know their first their their basically bird's eye view of a situation, it helps us you know, properly assess a patient that can be considered a victim of sexual assault or in the case that we were using, a survivor of um, sexual assault. Um, it helps us in the management, especially if we get called to court. Um, it helps us to properly answer questions that arise um, when it comes to our, our initial contact with the survivor of the um, event or sexual assault. So I feel like it's something that was very necessary and it improves my quality of care when I'm you know, in faced with this type of situation.